the snow is definitely melting in a lot of places, too warm for it to stick around. And with that in mind, what's going on today? Kind of interesting reading this, we are yesterday talking about things like expensive phones and all that. How about buying huge military drones for a dollar? Unfortunately, it's for war and all that. It says here, statement from GAASI CEO Lyndon Blue on Ukraine conflict. And basically what it talks about is how they were going to supply Ukraine with things like drones and at the same time training them, all for one dollar. It says here, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems is dedicated to providing information dominance to its partners. From the outset of the Russian invasion, we began looking for options to respond to requests of Ukrainian forces with our products, including the MQ-9 Reaper and MQ-1C Grey Eagle. Both systems have been used to devastating effect in combat by US and partner nations for more than two decades and remain the gold standard for high quality, medium altitude UAS in the world. It just sounds so weird when in these instances they make it sound like it's a traditional business. Like, yeah, look at our product, it does this. It says, we have offered to train Ukrainian operators on these systems at no cost to US taxpayers or the Ukrainian government. We have offered flexible options and recommendations for delivery. We have discussed the situation endlessly at every level of the US federal government and with many international partners. And then it says here, recently we offered to transfer two of our own company owned training aircraft plus the ground control station and other hardware required to operate them for the symbolic price of one dollar and reiterated our offer to train the first cadre of pilots and maintainers at our expense. From the sounds of it though, they can't just, I guess, give it to them and all that because there are laws, I guess, governing these types of transactions. It says, factoring in hardware and training that is essentially free, the offer is a remarkable deal with no strings attached. All that is required is approval from the US government. Our goal is now and has always been to help the Ukrainian armed forces defend and protect their homes and families and help bring a rapid closure to this conflict before more lives are lost. People usually say when it comes to war and all that, there's companies that are profiting off of it. So in that case, it's really bad. In this case, would you actually see, say the company in a better light for giving it away for quote $1 and all that? Or would you say this is all just, I guess, a way to increase public exposure and stuff like that still, where ultimately it's still about business and all that. And a quick update about the battery and all for the drone. I did contact Autel asking if I could, I guess, send this back or whatever they do to actually repair it. I actually did get the Autel care before, so I assume it covers everything. For example, the drones, the batteries and so forth. They initially replied really quick. I was like, holy smokes, that's pretty good. But what happened afterwards was I actually couldn't log into the site initially. I was wondering why I was wrong. I tried to get my password reset and so forth, wondering maybe that's the issue, but that still didn't work. So I contacted them manually through email and the person was basically polite and prompt and seemed like, like, yeah, no problem. Give us all your details, for example, like what drone you have, proof of purchase. So I sent all that and I assumed since I had the care and so forth, which they're aware of, it would kind of be like they advertise two-way shipping because my only experience with stuff like this was with companies like DGI. Usually when you get those types of, I guess, insurance, that's what you want to say they give you things like a shipping label to send it back but the email they sent me was telling me here that I have to ship it to this address mark this and so forth so they didn't actually give me a label or anything like that so I'm not sure this person applied I guess my plan correctly so I actually asked them for clarification I have your care plan so shouldn't you give me a shipping label so I can just pack this up and send it to you and all that and they never replied yet so that's a little odd so far. So I'm thinking if they still don't reply back to me, it's been almost 24 hours already now, I'll probably try the phone to see what's going on. So a little update about that. So unless this person made an error, the one I'm talking to on the email and so forth, they asked me to send everything back to the controller and stuff too, but funny enough, they say no accessory. So doesn't a battery count as an accessory? So how does that work? Does that mean they're not covering like the battery, that little broken, I guess, plastic piece?
All right, see you guys later.